So team, keep it clean. Uh, this obviously has been a very, very busy 72 hours. Y'all know how draft time goes because it's not just about guys that were drafted. It was a bunch of undrafted free agents too. And the Ravens, um, they got busy there and they signed a bunch of guys. And, and we'll start to cover those uh, during the week. But hopefully, can't make no promises. I'm not going to make any promises. But hopefully, by the end of today, today's the last day of the month. But by the end of today, uh, we can get you caught up on everybody who the Ravens drafted uh so we'll see how that goes but anyway uh we talked about zay flowers already who they drafted in the first round we talked about trenton simpson who they drafted in the third round um so now we're moving on to the fourth round pick uh that being tavius robinson outside linebacker uh from old miss now i couldn't find much film on him um but what i did see big frame guy uh very long long arms tall uh what they said he was six seven um but i it's, it's weird because he uh he's an outside linebacker but i did see him rush from the outside but i did see him rush a little bit from the inside from what i saw he's better rushing from the outside but he can do a little bit of both but outside is better uh but what was weird it's like this this dude is tall super tall six seven but his spin move is really really fast it's, it's, it's extremely fast, man. Um, but he has a, preth a plethora of moves in his arsenal. Now, I think this was a, a very important pick um, because while he's – the Ravens lost a couple of outside linebackers this offseason, um, one of them being Jason Pierre-Paul. And we know Jason Pierre-Paul, he didn't make his mark – in a big way, consistently, because once they started getting guys healthy again, Jason Pierre-Paul was pretty much out of the mix. Um, but they lost Jason Pierre-Paul, but they lost Justin Houston as well. And while I don't, I don't see Justin Houston um, in Tavius. Uh, I think if for my player comp would actually be Jason Pierre-Paul, because again, he's he's long like him. He's long, the the long arms. He's tall. That would be who I will compare him to. And a hint, a hint of Calais Campbell. I think just because of the height, just because of, the, 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 the again, the long arms, man. Um, that's who he reminded me of. But this is an important pick because um, this gives you more depth at, at, at pass rush. And as we know, it's extremely important. We always talk about every single year how the Baltimore Ravens, they get tested at the cornerback position every single year because they do but the depth gets tested like crazy but last year the depth got tested like crazy at outside linebacker because you know Tyus Bowser he was coming back from his injury Justin Houston at one point he was out for a little bit um then Jason Pierre Paul came through obviously with David Ajabo uh he wasn't ready yet Adafi away was dealing with some stuff it, it was just shaky all around and they had got rid of um Dalen Hayes and it, it, it was just rough at some points at pass rush. But this gives them a young guy. Because, again, I know Ravens, they were relying on a lot of older guys. And Justin Houston, remember, early in the season, he was doing his thing. Remember, they were like back-to-back -back games where he would like have at least like two sacks or something like that. He was going crazy for a little bit, but he just got tired. I think he got tired, man. He's like, <laughs> I need some help. Give me some help. So this is the Ravens getting some help from a young guy. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Now, while I didn't see, I wasn't able to find much film on him. Uh, what I did see is something that the Ravens probably looked at as well. And that was increased production. And they're catching him at a good time while he's peaking. Well, not necessarily peaking because he's, of course, going to get better in the NFL, but his, uh, he, he's trending upwards, and that's always a good thing because when you look at his numbers, uh, his freshman year, uh, 2020 at Ole Miss, uh, he played in 10 games, and he had a total of 18 tackles. He had uh, one and a half tackles for loss, and he had one sack. It was like, all right, cool, freshman year, all right, first time playing on the team. All right, cool, no problem. But then his, the, the following year, um, he played in nine games, so he played in less games. He had a total of 28 tackles. He had four and a half tackles for a loss, so all improvements. Then he had three and a half sacks. So literally all of his numbers went up, and he played in less games. He played in one less game. So that's a significant improvement, and, and, and it took you less time to do better. 
So that's a beautiful thing. But then he followed that up um, the following year in 2022, played in more games, played in 13 games, so the most games that he had played in. Uh, he had 43 total tackles, so another significant improvement. Had seven tackles for a loss, so another significant improvement. But this time he had six sacks, so another significant improvement. So every year um, his numbers just continue to increase. So that shows a couple of things. That shows more opportunity. Um, that shows that you not only were given more opportunity, but you deserve more opportunity because you made the most of that opportunity. Uh, and it shows production. That's what it's about, production. Not just potential, but production. So he's showing both of those things. Now, we know with the Baltimore Ravens, it, it wouldn't be expected right now, um, especially as a fourth-round pick, that he would get a ton of opportunity right away. We wouldn't expect that because there's going to be guys that are in front of him. And then there's always a possibility, excuse me, that the Ravens bring in some veterans too uh, at the position. So we'll see how it goes. But um, it is nice to know that throughout his collegiate career, he just kept improving. And, and that's important to see from somebody that they just continually keep improving. So I'm, I'm excited to see what he brings, man. I'm excited to see how the Ravens use him because he can be a tricky one, man. Um, but that, that it should be fun to see him out there. Uh, going to be watching him heavy in the preseason because that's when he's going to get a lot of opportunity. And that could really pave his way uh, on a team, how he does in the preseason. Because, you know, Ravens, they ain't going to play a ton of starters for a super long time in the preseason. So a lot of the rookies and undrafted guys, they're going to get their shot there. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, welcome to the squad. Welcome to the Baltimore Ravens. And I hope everything goes really well. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I will see you all later on today. And we out.